Google just rolled out a big update for Gemini CLI. And honestly, this one is a total game changer for developers. If you have been using Gemini in your terminal, now it's even more powerful. With this update, you can directly use it inside VS Code, create your own slash commands, easily manage MCP servers. And on top of that, Google has fixed some major security issues too. So in this video, I will break down everything for you. The new features, how to install or update, the security fixes and also a few quick tips so you can get the best out of this new version. Alright, before we jump into the updates, let's quickly understand what Gemini CLI actually is. So Gemini CLI is basically a tool that lets you talk to Google's Gemini AI directly from your terminal. Think of it like having an AI teammate right inside your command line. You can ask it to help you with coding, writing content, managing different tools or even automating tasks. And the cool part is, it's open source which means anyone can use it, improve it or customize it. Now with the latest version which is around version 0.1.20, it's even smarter and works directly with your IDEs like VS Code, making your workflow way smoother. Now let's talk about the biggest and probably the most exciting update. Gemini CLI now works directly inside Visual Studio Code. Earlier you had to use Gemini only in your terminal which meant switching back and forth between your editor and terminal, right? But now Gemini actually understands your VS Code workspace. That means it knows which files you have opened and even the exact code you have selected. And the best part, when Gemini suggests changes, you don't just see plain text. You actually get a side-by-side -side different view inside VS Code. So you can clearly see what's new, what's changed, and even edit those changes before applying them. And enabling this is super simple. Just open your VS Code terminal and type slash IDE install and slash IDE enable. That's it. Gemini is now linked to your VS Code. If you ever want to turn it off, you can just run slash IDE disable. This update saves you a ton of time because you don't need to jump between tools anymore. Everything happens right in your coding environment. Okay, so the next big improvement is all about NCP servers. Now, if you don't know, MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. In simple words, it's a way for Gemini to connect with different external tools or data sources so it can do more for you. Earlier, if you wanted to connect an MCP server, you had to dig into settings and manually edit a JSON file. Kind of annoying, right? But with this new update, Google has made it super easy. Now you can manage MCP servers directly from the terminal itself. Here is how it works. For example, let's say you want to add new server. All you need to do is type Gemini MCP add less than name greater than less than command or URL greater than. Here, less than name greater than is whatever name you want to give the server and less than command or URL greater than is just the link or command that connects to it. That's it. Gemini now knows about this server. If at any point you don't need that server anymore, Removing it is just as easy. You just type Gemini MCP remove less than name greater than and it's gone. No messy configurations, no manual cleanups. And if you forget which servers you have already added, you don't need to dig around. Just type Gemini MCP list and Gemini will show you all the servers currently connected. So yeah, with these three simple commands, add, remove and list, you have got full control over your NCP servers and managing integrations has never been this simple. Now let's talk about one of my favorite updates, custom slash commands. So what does that mean? Basically, you can create your own short commands that act like reusable prompts. Instead of typing the same long instruction again and again, you just save it once and then run it anytime with a simple slash command. For example, let's say you always ask Gemini to help you create a project plan. You can create a file called plan.toml and save it in your Gemini commands folder. Inside that folder, you write the instructions you want Gemini to follow. Then whenever you type slash plan, Gemini will run that saved prompt instantly. And it gets even cooler. You can add arguments. Like if you write args Inside your file, you can pass custom import every time you use the command. You can also organize comments into folders. So for example, slash git colon commit and slash review colon peer. This way you can make your workflow faster, cleaner and super customized to your own style. 
In short, slash comments are like your personal shortcuts for Gemini, saving you both time and effort. Alright, the next update is about the overall experience in the terminal. Google has made some quality of life improvements that make Gemini CLI smoother to use. For example, now it can handle multi-source directory loading better. That simply means if you are working on a big project with multiple folders and files, Gemini can understand and load them more easily without messing things up. Another small but handy feature is line number display control. You can now decide if you want Gemini to show line numbers in the output or keep it clean, which is super useful depending on your coding style. And overall, the responses feel faster and the interface looks cleaner compared to before. These may sound like small changes, but they actually make daily users a lot more comfortable, especially if you are using Gemini regularly in your dev workflow. Now, let's talk about something really important, which is security. A few months back, researchers found a serious bug in Gemini CLI. Basically, the issue was that some comments could run silently in the background without showing you what's actually happening. That means, if you were working on an untrusted project, there was a small chance that hidden molecular code could sneak in and even steal data. But the good news is, Google fixed this in the newer version, starting from version 0 1.14, and of course included in the latest update too. Now Gemini CLI will always show you the comment before it runs and for anything sensitive, it will ask you for your permission first. On top of that, Google now strongly recommends using sandboxing tools like Docker, Podman or macOS Seedbelt. These tools basically create a safe box around Gemini. So even if something goes wrong, your system stays protected so if you are using Gemini CLI, make sure you are on the latest version. It's not just about the new features, it's about keeping your work safe. Alright, so now that big question, how do you actually get this new version? Don't worry, it's really simple. If you already have Gemini CLI installed, you just need to update it, open your terminal and type this. Then check if you are on the latest version by running this. It should show version 0.1.20 or higher. Now sometimes after updating, you might face small issues like it not responding properly. In that case, just clear the cache using this, okay? And then restart it. And let's say you want to go back to an older version for any reason. You can do that too. For example, to install version 0.1.19, just type this. So yeah, updating is super quick. Just one comment and you are good to go. And that's the full background of the new Gemini CLI update from VS Code Introduction to slash comments, MCP management, and those important security fixes. This is honestly the biggest update so far. Now I would love to know what you think. Which new feature do you find the most useful? Is it the VS Code Integration or the custom slash comments? Drop your answer in the comments. I will be checking them out. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like, subscribe for more updates, and share it with a friend who codes. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.